Yevhem Tashnik welcomes us to his home in Kiev. He treats us to his favorite coffee. The most important thing is not to burn it. His love for strong roast coffee first started while he was serving in the Ukrainian military in Afghanistan. Yevhem shows us newspaper clippings from that time. This was when we already left Afghanistan, and this is just as we were living. He arrived in Kabul in 1987, almost a lifetime ago, he tells us. Yevgen became part of a special operation unit. One of their main tasks was to detect and stop vehicles transporting weapons and explosives. The smugglers moved at night and used hidden paths. If animals were used in transporting the arms, we would fire in the camels that were at the front. They stopped and would start to fire immediately, using one or two ammunition sets. As a rule, they used one set. They stopped a caravan, called for backup and immediately left, without any checks or inspections, not to lose their people. The Barak regiment is known for stopping the largest caravan in the history of the war in Afghanistan. Director Jeremy Gibbs filmed a documentary about the special forces. Yevhen Tashnik is featured in the film. Had we stopped an armed caravan and you gave yourselves up? If we stopped your caravan and you go down without a fight, we would transfer you to the People's Army. If you resisted, we would kill you. Thirty years later, Yevhen admits, even back then, they understood that the war was senseless. The Soviet Union did not get anything there. It just lost a lot of money. I also think that it is an unnecessary war. It was possible to make Afghanistan loyal in another way. Yevhen's second life started in 2014, when he went to the front line in eastern Ukraine as a volunteer. This war probably looks like the Second World War, as they fire on us with shells or mortar bombs every three or four seconds. Veterans of the war in Afghanistan used their experience of surviving on the front line to create special instructions on providing first aid. This way they hoped would reduce the number of casualties. At the height of fighting in Donbass, we had eight times more amputations than in Afghanistan. When we learned this, we translated the instructions, written by General Tsiganko, who was the head of the 40th Army in Afghanistan, and gave it to the soldiers serving in the front line, so that they know how to carry out primary treatment for those injured. Around 200,000 Ukrainians fought in the war in Afghanistan. 3,240 of them died, 80 went missing. Unfortunately, the Afghan war continues to kill people, though the average age of the Afghan soldiers is about 52 years. Since the start of the war in eastern Ukraine, 70 Afghan veterans have been killed. Reported by Yulia Boshko, UATV.